Today I'm taking the question, what do I do with my Conestoga Manure Spreader when it arrives all crated up? And I'd like to explain how to uncrate it. <coughs> it's real simple. Uh, obviously here's a spreader, it's crated and ready to go. I will be wrapping this one in plastic. Uh, we do that just for a little bit more protection against the weather, etc. Uh, when it arrives, what do you do with it? The crate is obviously disposable. It's just a wooden crate that we make here at the shop. You can throw that out, not a problem. Just use a hammer, pry bar, something to bust that apart. After you get the crate apart, you're gonna have to take it off of the skid itself. You can see that there's, there's sides here and then there's the actual skid itself. And then these brackets, these are disposable as well. Uh, these you can, you can dismount however you'd like. You will probably need something to lift the spreader unless you're able to take <clears throat> for example, one bracket off at a time and, and mount the hitch halfway on, etc. Uh, that's right where the hitch will be going, is right on that bracket, and then obviously there's another one on that side. The hitch will come out right here. The bolt sizes that you're going to be dealing with are really simple. These right here are going to be a half inch, and then you can see there's a carriage bolt, and on the inside there, that one right there is three quarter. Same thing goes on the on the wheels, on the hub. You can see all your stuff in the spreader here. So that's right there's the hitch, obviously. Your wheels, this is a 25, so the hitch goes inside the spreader. Uh, everything will look a little bit different depending on the options you get. This one has an end gate right back there. There's the handle for it. And that bar right there that you can see goes behind the beater. So we make our way back towards the back of the spreader. You can see there's the four on four hub. That goes on our 25s. Uh, it's real simple, three quarter inch. We'll take those off. You can use a wrench, an impact, whatever you have. The two on the top here, they are not necessary to get it dismounted from the crate itself. They're just there um, so that they don't come loose and that way they're there when you need them to mount the wheel. The other ones are mounting it to the bracket, the bracket holding down with those ones on the bottom there. They are half inch like the ones up front, and that just holds it to the crate to keep it from going anywhere. Same thing on the other side, so you can keep those in mind. And towards the back of the spreader, we really don't have much to deal with. There's nothing that hangs low and can be anchored down. So the only thing that you have to note back here is if I sneak the camera in here, right here, there's two spots. That's where the back beater bar is gonna mount to. There's hardware in there that you're going to use to mount it. It's just a bar that goes right behind the spreader there, sort of a safety guard. Not really a whole lot else that people usually ask about. If you have any questions, please let us know. Thanks for watching.